What is the correct cue size for my pool table? Well, this is a question we get asked quite regularly, and really it has two elements to it. Um, first element is really you as a player, so your, your height, um, your experience uh, with playing pool, uh, all those things can dictate what size of cue might be appropriate for you. But there is another element that really has to be considered, and that is also how much queuing room you have in the room that you've uh, had your table installed. So what I'll do is I'll look at both of those elements and hopefully a blend of those two considerations will help you to find the right cue size um, you know, for your table. So generally, if we're looking at a full size cue, we are talking about a five foot. This is actually a 57 inch cue. This is a very regular full size cue. Now they do make them slightly larger, but if we just go with that as an average for now. So when we're considering about how much cueing room you need around a table, um, you actually want to consider the play field really as your main starting point. So what you do is you take the overall length of the table and the overall width. And in general, if you take a foot off of the length and a foot off the width, that should expose the play field size. So on a, a British seven foot by four foot table, you actually have a six foot by three foot play field approximately. So with that measurement, in terms of room size, we would take a five foot cube and we would look at one side of the room from the wall here and you would have five foot for the queue. You'd then have six foot for the play surface and then you'd have five foot for the queue the other side. That'll allow you a bit of room to draw the queue back as well. So that would, that would dictate a 16 foot room. Now not everyone is gonna have a 16 foot room to be able to play on their table. So there's a couple of things you can do. Firstly, you can go for a smaller table. So we would always say that if it's getting really tight around your table, you might wanna go for a slightly smaller table, but cue size can also really help. So as an example, you could go for a 48 inch cue. Now the 48 inch cue is gonna give you about a foot either side of extra space. So that means that your room size can come down quite considerably. So in that case, you're looking at a medium sized queue and you may then be able to accommodate a full size table. If we're looking at British again, you're talking about a seven by four. So a small queue like that is not only great to play with, but also it deals with the room size issue. Now, if it gets really, really tight, you might want to go for a 36 inch queue, but really these are more junior queues. So this is for the odd tight space that you just can't avoid in the room. But it's certainly something worth considering because most rooms you're gonna find some tight spots. But in general, as an overall guide for this is that if you are finding that even with a 48 inch queue, you're really getting tight round the room for queuing, it's probably better to go for the smaller table because you'll have a lot more enjoyment from the table by being able to just freely play rather than continuously getting stuck against the wall. So that is how room size and size of table can dictate what cue size you need. So really it's time to do your measurements and see how that would be. Now the other element to cue size is, as we were saying earlier, how experienced you are as a player, uh, your size and your height. So you'll find that the 36 inch cue that I was holding up before uh, this is going to be a reasonable size for, for junior players. Um, young kids, they are lighter, they are less sort of unruly for them to control, um, and uh, that is a sort of starter size. Now you don't get a huge amount of choice down in this 36 inch range, so you're gonna find quite basic cues there. But um, generally, uh, you do find that this will be easier for them to, to manage. Now, if you're sort of a medium sized person, you might want to consider a 48 inch queue like this. So you get a nice range of these. The market has now sort of opened up to getting some good quality queues in these shorter non full size queues. So a 48 inch queue can be good. You can have ones that are one piece. You have ones that break in the middle like this. We go into the more depth about the actual queue quality in another video, but it just is all about just the size of the queue for you. And then if you are, um, you know, if you have the height for it and you're happy to go for it, then we have the full size queue, which we discussed earlier. This is a 57 inch queue. Um, and this also uh, has a mini butt. So this can be attached to the queue like this and gives you just an extra bit of length on the queue. That's if you're using a rest, maybe in snooker. Um, and just if you're leaning for those extra shots, it gives you a bit of extra room. So hopefully that gives you an idea about the sort of queue sizes that you might wanna consider and those two elements that blend together to help you make a decision. So check out your room size, consider what size queue you want, and hopefully you can find the perfect mix for your particular games room and your particular pool table.